to be a really tough one to take it home today, just your thoughts following the game? First and foremost, Gareth, obviously disappointed to lose the game 2-1. Um, but in terms of the game itself, I thought first half we were a different class. Um, could have been easily 1 or 2 nil up at half time. Again, same as last Friday away or the last time we were up at our Brove, sorry, the, the amount of chances we created never took and it was a similar day first half. Um, Ali's got a great chance at the back post, Robbie's got one that's a great save for the keeper, he's one for the 40 yards, it's just went over the bar. And really, really at half time you're coming in thinking, right, it's more of the same and we'll be fine. Um, but I thought at the start of the second half we were really flat, Gareth, um, and it's not like us. Um, normally we come out, steam train, um, and, and listen, everything that we speak about as a staff on a Friday in analysis was points that let us down today. We spoke about the opponents are shot in Allardyce down the edge of the box, we don't, 1-0. Um, even first half with Billy McKay, we spoke at the opponents are like, Billy's the only striker that they play with, so there's nothing in behind, get one in front, one behind, but we don't do it. And listen, it's not like we're not telling them the things that are going to happen, Gareth, so they need to take blame of that or, or take that in the chin, that as a staff are telling them the right things that they need to try and concentrate on. And then... We get ourselves back into the game. Robbie scores. Eh, sorry, Robbie does great to get in. Knocks it by a keeper, takes him out, and fantastic finish for Gills. And then we get a lift for that. We go on. We're at it again. And then the space of two minutes, you know, Robbie's unbelievable strike for the free kick off the bar. Two minutes later, they're they're two one up. And that's that. Kind of, that's football. Obviously, I'm I'm standing here today disappointed for the fans first and foremost. I thought today they were excellent. Came behind us, got right behind us for the start to the end. And also the players, you know, they've put a lot of effort in. But I was disappointed with a few players today. Um, especially the second goal, we don't track the runner. We just allow we Callum to be dealt 2v1. He's unlucky, he nearly gets a nick to it. But the boy Carson just takes off and we don't track that. And Listen, I played the position all my, all my days, Gareth. As a winger, it's the toughest part of the, the pitch because you need to work up and down for 90 minutes to help your fullback and then go up and support your striker, your midfield. And it's a difficult position, but you need to be able to work and run. And unfortunately for us, setting tough at times, we were one or two men short because they didn't want to put that effort in. And that's fine, I'll, I'll deal with that going forward. They'll know if they're not playing with reasons and, what, and why. And, and I think it's important that everyone knows that because me as a, as a manager, I'll not accept people know why to work, Gareth. That's the first and foremost and um, how, how we go about our business. Uh, you know, with the goal that we conceded, which ended up being the, the, the losing goal, you know, going from being inches away from, from taking the lead to then conceding, it's such a bit of blow, isn't it? 100%, you know, it's, that's, that's the highs and lows of football, Gareth. One minute you're thinking you've got the winner and it doesn't go in, hits the bar, goes down and bounces back out, and then they got a part score. It's a sucker punch, it's a killer, everybody after that was deflated. But it's my job to pick the boys up. We've still got six games to go, we're still in a good position, but Saturday now comes even, even bigger than, than today, Gareth. You know, we need to go to here next week. And we need to win. It's as simple as that. If, they want, if the players have any aspirations of being where they want to be, and, and like I say, we need to go next week and now win it here, and then hopefully follow that up and choose another positive result here at home. You mentioned next week, you know, it becomes even bigger now after today's result, doesn't it? Every game big, Gareth. Today's game was big, next week becomes even bigger, Tuesday night becomes even bigger, and that's just the nature of football at this time of the year. Every game becomes bigger and they're more magnitude, and like I say, Saturday will be massive now, but hopefully. The fans would have seen today the effort the boys put in, especially first half, probably 20 minutes of the second half to hopefully come again next week and, and get right behind the boys to hopefully we can go here and pick up a positive result. Cheers, Cheers Gareth, thanks.